Hey friends, I am here to demonstrate Judy's Magic Cast On. It is a cast on created by Judy Becker. It's not very old, back in 2006, I believe she created it. And what it does is just gives a very unique way to cast on so that you do not have a seam. And it's super useful for socks and in this case, the hot water bottle. Uh, covers the warm front. All right, so I have a 32 inch cord here and my needles, and you will need to do have some reference to Magic Loop because that's how we will be performing this. And then we have a bulky yarn here. So your first step is to, you don't need a very long tail, and I am going to demonstrate using 10 stitches. Um, so that's plenty. It's about 12 inches, 15, but that's plenty. Okay, so you make a slip knot at the very beginning and you're gonna go ahead and put your slip knot on just one of the needles. Okay, then your other needle, you're going to bring it up and just rest it right by your top needle with the slip knot. All right, so you just have that. Now, in a long tail cast on, your tail would be closer to you, uh, but we are going to put the tail on the top, so your tail is gonna come over your pointer finger and your working yarn over your thumb, just like that, okay? So you're gonna hold it just like you would a long tail, wrap your fingers around it through, through your hand and your bottom, your working yarn is on your thumb and your tail is on your pointer finger. Okay, so just like that. If you can remember that the bottom needle is going to grab the top up to your finger and the top needle is gonna go down to your thumb and grab that yarn then it will become so much easier. So that's what we're gonna do. The bottom needle needs a stitch because it only has one. It's gonna go up and, and grab that and bring it in between the two needles. Now the top needle is going to come down and grab the one on your thumb and slide it through. The bottom needle up to the top and bring the yarn through. Now you have two stitches on each needle. Okay, we're gonna go to 10. So now your top needle is gonna come down and grab your thumb and up to the top with your bottom needle. Slide that yarn just around the needle and in between. Okay, so bottom, top, top, bottom, and it's always coming over. The yarn is always coming up over and in between. Okay, over and in between. Over, oopsie, and in between. All right, I have six stitches on each needle. We wanna go to 10. Okay, so bottom needle to the top, To I mean top needle to the bottom, excuse me, Bottom needle, top. Top, bottom, bottom, top. Bottom, up to the top, up to, to the bottom, and to the top. Okay, so there you have two, four, six, eight, ten stitches on each needle. All right, from this point, we are going to just put it so the needles are facing the right way, just swing it around just like that, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is flip it up. So if you had a working yarn doing the magic loop, you're gonna grab this needle and knit these stitches, okay? Because this is the bottom of the water bottle. Okay, so you're gonna grab the back needle and knit these stitches. Now this last stitch is just kind of thrown over and dangling. Hold it there, so you're gonna knit it. 
hold it in between your fingers. You're going to knit it with this. And by doing this, it's going to catch that tail, okay? So just like that, it caught the tail and you can go ahead and pull it tightly, okay? Now you're gonna knit across the rest of these stitches. All right, so this is the last stitch. We're gonna knit it, and just like you would with your magic loop, you're going to bring that around, put the stitches back onto this needle, and pull this needle out. Okay, so on this row, this is just a little different. Make sure that's focusing. You are going to knit these stitches. The first stitch is your um, slip knot, so it's oriented correctly. But the rest of them are all backwards, okay? So you have the option of either moving it, which I find is a one extra step that really doesn't need to happen and knitting it, or you can just knit through the back loop just on this first row. Just like that, just knit through the back loop instead of knitting through the front, knit through the back. And then all of your stitches will be oriented the correct way and they will not look twisted. All right, so as you can see, those are all positioned correctly. Now you're just gonna follow the pattern, knit the first row, and then follow around. This tail will just start to fall out there, and that's great, you'll weave in the tail later. But now you're just gonna knit this first row. And pretty soon you're going to have a hot water bottle. <laughs> All right, hope you guys understood. Um, yes, good luck.